Welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and you're watching episode number 45. In case you don't know, Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment. So in case you just want to lose weight or looking to trim up or looking just to mix up your routine, we are the place that you want to be. So thanks so much for joining us today. And today we're going to be talking about cardio interval training and why it's useful and why you want to incorporate it into your program to kind of help and boost your fat burning capabilities. Uh, but first, I just want to give a shout out to Lena, or Lana, excuse me if I pronounce your name wrong. She's from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And she wrote a really um, touching email to me, and I just want to read to you. Uh, she writes, um, Jennifer, I'm so glad you had Pete on your show. I love seeing success stories because as you talked about in the podcast, there's such a small percentage of them. You're right. And although I'm not as overweight as those who go on The Biggest Loser, I'm working to lose weight and feel better about myself. So this podcast was very inspiring. I want to thank you for having such a great podcast, and it's helped me become more active again. And soon I'll be starting a 10-week boot camp at my gym. Wish me luck. And you know what? I wish you great luck and applause. Um, like she was saying, Pete Thomas from Biggest Loser was on our podcast. So if you don't just uh, haven't checked it out, check it out at MadeFitTV. Dot com. It was a really inspiring episode, and I encourage you guys to all watch it. Okay, so starting off, we are doing cardio interval training. Now, I know I get a lot of emails. I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching are like, oh, finally, she's doing an episode on cardio training. Um, I got the treadmill going right now. Um, I'll be hopping on it shortly. But just to give you guys an insight into what interval training is, um, your heart is a muscle. Don't forget that. So what you want to do is you want to uh, challenge the, your heart muscle. And you want to challenge it in, uh, frequently so you're not becoming so prone to just doing the same thing all the time. I mean, taking time out, going outside, and going for a great run is awesome because you're getting active, you're getting out there, you're exercising the heart muscle. But if you're getting too uh, used to a certain heart rate zone that you're in because you're constantly just doing three miles three days a week, it's time to switch it up a little bit. And now why it's important is because it trains your heart in a variety of different intensities. So you're going from, let's say, a 30-second sprint to, uh, or, you know, 30 to 60-second uh, sprint to about, like, 60 seconds to 90 seconds at a moderate pace for your heart. So you're constantly doing this with your cardio and your heart, and that's what you want. And, um, you know, mixing this up will create your body to be more fat-burning efficient because... It also stimulates, or studies show that it does stimulate the metabolism following your interval training, um, the post-exercise oxygen consumption. That is just a term of your body recuperating, reoxygenizing the blood, reoxygenating the blood, <laughs> and also getting the body temperature back down to what it is. And that requires the metabolism and the energy. So that's why cardio interval training is superb. So now you're probably asking yourself, okay, well, that's great, Jen. Um, you know, I want to sprint and everything, but how do I know what is considered sprinting? Well, what I'm going to do is I have these templates that you can download on MadeFitTV.com, and it's going to be a field test. So what you're going to do, you're going to need a treadmill or any type of cardio equipment. So I'm sure that you know someone that does have it or at your gym. And what you're going to do is just you're going to increase the intensity um, periodically until you get to that point where you can't do anything anymore until it's really, really hard for you, and that's how you know that you've reached that point. Uh, so I'm just going to set this down, hop on the treadmill, and this is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes, so it'll be a cardio workout in itself. So you're going to start at the lowest pace possible, um, lowest pace just to feel like at a level where it is uh, doable. So, for instance, I'm not going to put it that high because it's going to be extremely loud for you guys to hear me. So let's just say I'm walking at 3.5 and it's easy. I want you to uh, put it at a point. You're going to rate it 1 to 10, 1 being the easiest, 10 being the hardest. Every two minutes, you're going to increase your intensity uh, by either the speed or by the incline. Or if you're on an elliptical machine or Stairmaster, you're going to increase it by resistance or speed. And every two minutes, you are going to log on that field test uh, chart uh, from a one, to, 1 to 10 how you feel. So obviously in the beginning, it's going to be a 1. So after two minutes, you're going to increase it by a couple of miles per hour or a few inclines. But I want it to be gradual, 1 to 2 minutes every time. Just increase it. Now, you may also see that sometimes when you increase it, you may feel like, let's say, you increase it to 5 miles an hour and it may only feel like maybe a five. And then you increase it to seven, and you're still at a five, that's okay. I just want you to gradually get to the point where you feel like it's at 10, and you can't do any more. Then I want you to stop it, and I want you to log on that sheet 
uh, what speed you were going at that made you feel that way, what intensity or incline, because then that gives you an idea of at one level how it felt um, at a low or moderate pace to the high intensity pace where you can't go anymore. And at that point where you're hitting that 10, that mark where you just can't go anymore, that's how you know that that is the point where you know that you want to sprint when you're doing your interval training. So doing that, it's a big help in knowing exactly how you yourself, your body feels when you're doing it. Because there are certain formulas out there, you know, uh, 220 minus your age, get your max heart rate, or 180 minus your age, get your anaerobic threshold. But this is a little bit more simpler because then you're doing something that is more specific to you and your physiology. Because you could be 30 years old and someone else could be 30 years old, but your conditions, um, your conditioning on the cardio can be completely different. So that's why doing this and knowing exactly what is good for your body and what is good for your cardio um, endurance to work up to that point to do it. Um, now I have several different exercises for you guys to follow, some templates for your interval cardio training that you can try at home. And for, uh, let's just say you're a beginner. I have one for a beginner, one for a conditioned athlete or conditioned gym goer, and then one for elite. And you can see that the beginner is a 20 minute uh, exercise workout. Uh, Chris will pop it up on the screen right now. It's for 20 minutes. And this is about a, uh, a, a low to moderate pace. You're going at a level about three to about seven as you're sprinting uh, for the 30 seconds. And with this one, if you're a beginner, the way you know is maybe you just make it to the gym maybe a couple days a week, maybe not even. You're only working out for maybe an hour a week. So that would be more in the, in the beginner category. For the conditioned athlete, you would be more in the category where you're working out four or five days a week. You're doing your cardio for maybe a half hour, maybe a little bit longer. So um, that's why the this workout is a little bit longer, 35 minutes, and it increases uh, your sprint uh, potential where you're hitting at about an eight. And then for the elite athletes, we have it another 35 minutes, but that's for people who are who are you know training for something specific. They're making it to the gym five, six, seven days a week, kind of kicking it up, want to challenge themselves. That's what this one's about. And you guys, I know some of you are going to say, oh, well, this is too hard, or maybe, oh, this is too easy. I want you to modify this. Do it for however you feel, because these podcasts are not just designed for one specific viewer and one specific conditioned uh, athlete. These podcasts are designed for everybody. So if there's any type of exercise I provide for you on this show and you feel like it's not challenging enough or you feel like it may be too hard, I want you to modify it. So with these exercises especially, these cardio intervals, you can modify them, double them. Like for the 35 minute ones, if you're an elite athlete, shoot. Double them. Do it for 60 minutes. I want you to challenge yourself, and this just gives you a baseline to just set and know exactly where your levels are so you're not listening to other people telling you, oh, well, do what I did or do this or you're doing it wrong. So try it, and what I want you guys to do, download these, take them to the gym, take them outside of the park, take them in your basement on the treadmill, try them out, and I want you to comment on my MadeFit TV website, www.madefittv.com. Comment right underneath this blog as I'm talking to you and tell me how you did. Tell me at what point, at what speed you were walking at that you hit that 10 where you're just like, oh, that's my sprint or that is my, um, that's my point where I just can't do anymore. I want to let you, I want, I want to know. I want you to let me know and I want to know how you felt and how you liked it. And, um, and also you can subscribe to these on iTunes. You can also um, subscribe directly from our website, madefittv.com. And you can also email me at askjenny and tell me about what you think or any type of um, type of exercises you want to see on the show or anything else that you want to see or any questions. I always email back promptly. So uh, let me know how you like it. And I wish you the best. I mean, it's getting warm outside, especially here in, uh, in southeast Michigan. It's like getting warmer outside. Oh, 60 degrees. So I'm really excited to get out and run. So I hope you guys are too. And if you're not a runner, I hope it encourages you to maybe try something a little different. So thanks so much for joining us today, and I will see you next time on Made Fit TV. Because remember, fit bodies don't just happen, they are made. And what's up, oh doctor? Thank you. You know what I'm talking about. All right, I'll see you guys later. Um, and if you just kind of like to sit back and watch, I mean, there really won't be much to watch because I'm pretty much done. <laughs> but um, unless you want to, you know, watch me sit here turning oxygen into carbon dioxide. But...